everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday and Merry Christmas. Kind of late. <laughs> I guess it's almost Happy New Year. I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas. I am sure your house is probably like mine. Well, I don't know. Some people clean right up. We haven't taken down the Christmas tree or anything. We've put up some stuff. So if you see some mess behind me, it's because it's just been crazy and I haven't really put everything up yet. But I had kind of put all of my stuff up and I had to get it all back out. So I hope I didn't forget anything. And I'm gonna tell you or show you what I got this week as far as what I bought for myself and then what I got for Christmas gifts too. So I'm gonna start out with, I've just got everything sitting right here so I can show you. So it's gonna be kind of random. But one of you guys wrote me an email and told me that you really like this. And it is um, a Peter Thomas Roth Potent C Targeted Spot Brightener with 10% C, 3% uh, E, and 2% ferulic acid. I guess it's kind of similar to a lot of those serums, but this is a spot treatment. And um, she said that this has really been helping with her, that it's not an overnight miracle, but it's really been helping with her dark patches. So I bought this. It actually comes in this box. I've been using it though. And it there, don't be confused though, because there are some like packages. There were some gift packages that were a lot of the stuff from this line, but they weren't the spot treatment. And I really didn't want like the whole line. I just wanted to treat just a, a few little dark spots that I have. So I will let you know how this goes, but if you're wanting to try something with me, I am. I just started this probably, I probably used it four times. So, so far so good, it didn't break me out or anything. And then the next thing, I'll show you this so I can get it off the side here, but this is a cosmetic, kind of travel bag that I bought. I think I watched, um, it was either Katie or it was probably Katie. It was one of those that I watched their Christmas ideas and they said that this was one of their favorite travel cases. I'm not sure if it was Katie. I'll try to find out who it was. This is a really cool like travel case where you can put, gosh, it has all kinds of like little spots in there like you could put you know like that vitamin c cream or whatever and then it has big compartments that you can put like your shampoo and stuff and then you can zip it up see it expands and then you can also hang it up when you get there like i could put my contacts in here and other stuff so i thought that was pretty cool it comes in a lot of colors and um but i just got the black so it will go with everything i'll go ahead and show you this monster that my mom and dad got me it is a huge makeup case that opens gosh it opens so big let me show you it has got just lots of space for lots of stuff in here let me go ahead and open it all the way up like this this isn't going to be good like if you're traveling on a plane but this will be great when like i'm going down to the beach and we usually stay um i live like 15 minutes away but we stay at the beach a lot in the summer at least two weeks and so this will be good for stuff like that it's got the nice feet on it so it won't hurt your floor i love the color couldn't be any better but i thought it would be perfect for that because then i can just open it up use all my stuff and then shut it back and it would also be good for storage I'm kind of getting into that. I just ordered some things from Container Store. Like I told you, I'm working on my room upstairs. John's doing some stuff for me. So that would also be a good way to store some of my makeup that I don't want in my bathroom. So that is something that my parents got me. Another thing that my dad got me, he and I were out Christmas shopping and we saw this jacket. And you guys know, I've already told you, I love like Columbia things and this is one of those little soft jackets like I wear every day when I this is kind of like what I wear as a robe I mean I will put these on right over my nightgown sometimes but I wear them every morning when like I take Will to school and I was thinking this would be good when I start walking the loop again January 2nd it is on I am just getting back in shape I don't know I'm not gonna say getting back in shape but I'm gonna get walking eat healthier and get in a better place. I'm not gonna like start being all crazy about getting in shape or anything. But anyway, um, 
So this is a little jacket that he bought for me and I love it. I just thought it was the prettiest color red. It's like a ruby and I liked the pattern of it too and it's so soft. So that is something else that I got. Something else that I got that is so pretty and snuggly, it's cashmere. Brooke's boyfriend got this for me for Christmas. He and his mom went to Spain for two weeks and he bought this for me in Spain. It's cashmere or as my mom would say, I think she says cashmere. And it is just so pretty, I love it. I mean, I just could not be any happier with the pattern or the colors. I was telling it, Brooke, it kind of reminded me of Sassy, her colors, the way she's kind of like got the, she is a, she's supposed to be a Maine Coon Calico mix. Maine Coon Calico mix, and that's, that's pretty much what she is. Her back feet look like true calico, like, Chanel does, but then the rest of her is kind of spotted and has the orange in it like this. So I was so tickled with this. I thought he did so good to pick that up for me and pick out something I would like so much in Spain. Tammy, Uppy, I keep wanting to say Uppy's Beads, but at Tammy's Ageless Beauty, Tammy sent me a package, a surprise package, and in it she sent these earrings, which I have told you guys how much I love these little Kate Spade earrings. I don't know if I saved the card that they came on, but she knows I love this green color. Look how pretty they are. And I love, see how even though they're big, they're not real heavy. They're, they kind of lay kind of flush to your ears. If you like pretty stud earrings, you will love these. Any of the colors, or you could just get like the, you know, the CZ kind, but I love these. I've already worn them like three times and they're perfect like when I'm wearing just all black, just to put that little bit of color, love them. And then, oh goodness, I was gonna say, I've used some of the stuff that she has sent me, so I think the lip may be in my purse. But anyway, she sent me a lot of mask and eye mask and, um, eye, yeah, eye mask, uh, under eye, yeah. Okay, she knows that I like to use the eye mask just I like to use them anyway, but I like to use them sometimes in the morning. That way you don't have to put on as much eye cream and your concealer doesn't crease. So she sent me some eye mask and then she sent me this Lano Lips, which is the Banana Balm Lip Sheen. And I mean, this stuff is, where is it, where is it, here it is. So sheeny. I'll show you, Brooke and I couldn't get over how, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a, here that's not enough. It really adds a nice sheen. Look at that. Like if you wanted to add just a little bit to the center of your lips or just put this on, and it definitely smells like banana. I love that. For some reason that smell like brings me back somewhere. I don't know if I had probably as a child, you know, when you have like banana scented stuff, but that is so pretty, it's kind of iridescent. So I went and got a few of the other things that she sent me. This one is, this is some of her favorites, the Eye Tint Chrome. And this is the one, I used it the other day, it's called Halo. And it is one of those really cool liquid shadows. And I used it right along with some other shadows that I used the other day. I just took it right in the center and kind of pulled it just a little bit up on my lid and it was so pretty. I took a picture for her, so if I can find it, I'll put it in here, but I love that. And then she sent me another color that is a little bit lighter. This one is the number 46. I'll link them all down below. Oh gosh, I didn't know this one was a, um, this is kind of like a, it's silvery, but it's a cooler, kind of a platinum, I don't know, I thought it was gonna be more of a white, but I love that it's kind of like a taupey, a light taupe metallic. Ooh, that is pretty. And then this is the Lip Gloss 101, and it is called the Ecstasy Lacquer, Excess Lip Color Shine, it's gorgeous. I put it on over a combo the other day in that same picture, and it just looked so pretty. I think I wore it right over some of the Kylie. I've been so into, I need to do a whole video on liquid lipsticks because I had so many that people loved that I could not get to work. And now that I have mastered my little concoction, 
I need to do a video and I want to tell you which ones are good and which ones are not because some of the liquid lipsticks, there was one I used the other day and it was just pitiful. It broke up and it didn't stay good and solid. I can't remember, but so I'm going to do a video coming up maybe next week on how I'm making those liquid lipsticks that are matte and dry, how I'm making them work, and how to make like good colors and stuff out of them. But I put this over that and loved it. Okay, and then before I forget, I wanted to tell you, you know, John got me my wallet. It is the, let me get it out of my purse real quick, hold on. Here it is. This is what he got me for Christmas. It's the Louis Vuitton. I'm not even sure of the name. It is the just zip around wallet, loving it. It has been perfect, no complaints at all. So that's one of the things that he got me for Christmas, but he can never, he always like gets me something early and then he can't stand it, that he hasn't gotten me something, he feels like he needs to get me something else. And it's so funny because it haven't, hasn't gotten here, but he ordered me, it was a big surprise. He told me not to look on Amazon like our orders because he ordered something for me and then he could not stand it. He gave me so many hints that I ended up guessing. It is a countertop, not crushed ice, but the pellet ice maker. I'm someone who loves to eat ice with my drink and we have a crushed ice maker, of course, on our refrigerator, but you know how when it comes out, sometimes the big ice cubes still come out? Well, I always pick them out and he always fixes me drinks and so he knows how much I love that and so he got me the crushed ice maker and so I will link it down below because he did his research like he always does and picked out one of the best ones. My brother and my sister-in-law and my niece, their family got me the coolest gift and I can't show it to you here because it's, you'll know in a minute, but it is this really big beach, I don't even know what to call it. I'm gonna put a picture of it in here we saw it on the beach last year and it was sold out. I couldn't get it. And we were already staying that week and for some reason I couldn't get it that week. And I think that the two guys that invented it live here in North Carolina. But so I'm gonna be ready this year on the beach. My mom can come down and sit underneath it, but it's like a big, You'll see when I put the picture in here, you'll see what it is. It's a good like for shade on the beach. So that is what they got me. I'm tickled with that. I cannot wait. I'm so excited for summer. You guys know how I am. Soon as Christmas and New Year's is over, I am thinking spring and summer, which I, I can honestly say I've enjoyed, you know, this little bit of cool weather. It's actually, let me, it's been so hot here. Let's see how it is. It's 63 and mostly cloudy out there now. I placed an order. I saw Michelle Wang on Instagram. She had a post of the new Chanel spring collection. So I went online and I was on my phone and picked out a few things to get and I'm wearing them all today, but I'm not crazy about any of them. And I hate that because I love Chanel products so much, but everything I got is kind of, you'll see when I show you. Okay, the first thing I ordered was the new Chanel polish, and this is called Opulence, number 917, and it's what I have on my nails now. And that is one of the things that, if you like this color, I think you would love it. I mean, I definitely think it's pretty. It doesn't look as good on my nails right now because I'm still getting over letting them grow out from having the powder nails that don't harm your natural nails. Don't believe that. And, um, but I love Chanel polishes. Just, I think if you're gonna get a Chanel polish, I would get one of their, you know, I would get pirate. I would get ballet slippers. I would get black satin, blue satin, vamp. There's so many other colors, but if you have all those and you want a good, cool, just color like this, I think it would look great on Brooke because she has those long, skinny nails. But, so that's what this is, is the Chanel nail polish. And then I picked out one of the quads. It is the, let's see, Elemental 352. And I have it on today and it was like, I knew when I opened it, I thought, I'm not gonna like this, but I thought, okay, well maybe I will. It's just, when you see it, you'll know. This is for someone who really doesn't like eyeshadow and you just want a little bit of something on your eyelids. You don't want a lot of color. 
it's what I have on now, but I actually had to go back in with a Lancome shadow, and I'll put it down below. It's one of those, um, it was one of those powders that you could use for a shadow. I don't know what else you would use this for, but anyway, it was one of those, I'll put it down below. That's what I ended up using in my crease to kind of help it along a little bit, but so it's not that it's not good, it's just probably not the one for me. And if I hadn't have been ordering online, you know, I would, probably wouldn't have picked this up just because it's too light for me, but it is pretty. <laughs> it's like, I hate giving a bad review because there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I chose the wrong one. Okay, the next thing I chose is one of the Stylo pencils, basically like an eyeshadow pencil, um, eyeshadow liner coal. And I got the brown and I was thinking this may be something good for me to use to do like my upper, you know, liner, and then I can use, this is what I used today, and then I used the Stila, not Stila, the Benefit Roller Liner for my wing. And so that is what I did today, and it worked beautifully. I love how it has the a good point, and you can actually roll it up, you don't have to sharpen it. So this is something, if you like stuff like this, I really did like this. It was really good, it's dark, goes on nice, it smudges out just enough, and it's a, a good cool brown like I like. So that was a good one. And then the last thing I chose is the Blush Duo Tweed Effect in Tweed Pink Blush. And I should have shown you guys this before I used it because it was so pretty. But if you've had these blushes before, you know that they come with like a gold overlay on the top. Well, I didn't want that like on my cheeks because it's pretty chunky gold glitter. So I took the brush and just kind of brushed that off before I used it. And this is what I have on my cheeks today. So it is really pretty, glowy, pinky. I love this. So I would say the only thing that I probably would have chosen differently, I would have chosen a different nail polish probably and a different eyeshadow quad but when i got my package i took a picture of it i'll put it in here you just cannot beat how the chanel package comes and then they send you all kinds of good samples that you choose i have found that if you order a lot of times from like charlotte tilbury laura mercier bobby brown if you order from their website you get a lot of good samples and it's a good way to try you know other things from their line i think last but not least for my parents I always ask for, and you guys know, <clears throat> I ask for them to just look for me some nice rings that they find along the way. They like to go to pawn shops, uh, you know, estate sales, jewelry stores, all kinds of stuff. And so I always enjoy getting older jewelry that is just very unique. And so they gave it to me in this dish that is like a crystal dish that my mom chose, or I think it might've even been hers. And then the first ring, and then they were in here all tied to a string, this string, and it's three rings. The first one is one that she had bought for herself, I don't know how long ago, and she just thought that it would go well with the other rings that they bought me, and she wanted to give it to me. And so that is this ring. It's, you guys know I love the bands, like the cigar bands, and I love how this one is just so open. And then this is my favorite, and I'll show it to you by itself first. It's just a really cool kind of swirly gold ring, like the larger diamond and the other diamonds in it, and it just fits right on like my middle finger. And then the last one they got me is rose gold, and it is like a really light amethyst. Just a simple ring. And that one I wear on my pointer finger. So it creates just a good little stack like that. Hey, John just came in. So that is just perfection, what they got me. I can't wait to wear, wait to wear that one with the, I don't know if you remember the rose that they bought me, I think last Christmas or Christmas before, that is rose gold. That one will go good with it, but love them. That's my favorite, favorite gifts is when they buy me stuff like that. So I think that I have shown everything to you, everything I got this week. I may have missed something, but if I did, I'll just 
show it to you later. And I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go. Okay, I've just got on one of my good basic outfits. I've got a lot of running around to do today. I've been using my Gucci Rebuild bag, just one of the best bags ever. This is kind of like, I kind of compare it to a classy, polished, Balenciaga City because it's the same concept just a good big bag that zips But it's so pretty. It's got the you know, of course the Marmont G's and then the feline on this side and it has this strap if you want to use it on your shoulder But I usually just carry it like this and then I've got on my long knit blazer Oh goodness Bridget's crying and um, my Zella high waist leggings white tee and then my comfy Tory Burch boots. And then for accessories, I've already shown you my earrings. My necklaces are the gold necklaces that I purchased online from Walmart that I showed you in my accessories video. I don't think I've taken this one off. And this is the one that is a layered. It's like three in one and I love it. And so someone asked me if it got tangled, it doesn't. And even when I pulled it out of my drawer today, I just kind of shook it a little bit and it comes right undone because of the way that the layers are kind of placed on the little hooks or whatever. Let's see, how is that done? Because it comes right together like that. And so it ends up being just a good little layered necklace. And so I guess that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And John is going to be off, I think. I think he's off next week. I know Will's out of school, but I will be back. So if you have any, oh, I almost forgot to tell you my winner from the nail polish video. I took a picture of her comment, so I would not forget who it was. Oh goodness, where is it? it? Cindy Subtle. Cindy Subtle. And um, her favorites are OPI, Lincoln Park After Dark, Tiramisu for Two, Half Past Nude, I haven't heard that one, Raisin and Raisin the Bar, C&D, Field Fox and Cashmere Wrap, and Zoya, Hera, Taylor, Kathy, Lydia, Rue, and Tomoko for the occasional gold sparkle. And those are her favorites. So thank you, Cindy. And I will, if you will, email me. My email is down below. And another thing, guys, too, I have a lot of my designer shoes on my website and I have marked them way down so that I don't have to take the trouble to send them to the real real. So if you want to look on my website, I have some of my Louboutins and shoes on there. And I guess that's it. So have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.